Hi guys, and welcome back. I am sorry that this video is super late. It's been a super long time, and I've had a whole lot of medical issues happening and trying to figure out what's going on with me. But enough about that. I have no choice but to make this video right now because tomorrow is last day for teacher appreciation. And... I really, really love my kid's teacher, and what we'll be doing today will be made for her. So, I have a few templates that I could use, and I think I'm going to go with the smaller one. <clears throat> Anybody know what that is? <laughs> so, here's the thing, alright? I'm going to flip this around so I can see it better. I'm going to use this parchment paper. This is my idea. I'm going to go in and jump in it. But I have no idea what I want to make her yet. I just know that it has to be this. It has to be these paw prints because this is the college that she attended. I'm just cutting my parchment paper. So it's not hanging off. Excuse my arm. So yeah, I've, I have really, really missed doing this. And I hope this doesn't take too long. Because it can cause problems. <clears throat> With my legs and feet. But... We're doing okay today. We're not perfect. We're not back to normal. But we're doing okay. So, yeah. Let's get started. So we need purple and orange. First things first. Excuse the hair. Ooh. Anyway. I just got out of the shower, so my hair is like flying everywhere. First things first. I want to outline this with the purple. I'm going to take this purple and run it through the thickest setting on my pasta machine. So I ran this through the pasta machine and now what I'm going to do is trace out the footprint. I'm just gonna pull it off. And now we're gonna repeat the process on the clay. I can get a spot where it all fits. Okay. So I'm just gonna press it down on my clay and then cut it out. Yay! <coughs> it worked. Now we have a rough cutout of the paw print. And it has a little bit of paper on it. There we go. Alright. So there is our paw print. <sighs> now, I think the best thing from here is to do the same thing with the inside with the orange. Once I get the basic outline cut out like this, I'm going to go back and cut, I guess, feather out the edges is what I would call it. Detailing the edges. So there's that. So we're going to keep that in case I have to make two. Because I don't quite know what I'm going for just yet. Okay. So now that we have this, what I'm going to do, we have the back piece of the paw and the front piece of the paw. And I'll line it up once I get it rolled out. So we're going to do that in orange. 
So I'm gonna go over to the pasta machine and roll our orange out. So this is what I got. It's a little dirty from the purple going through there, but it's all gonna go together. So what I'm gonna do now is get my little toes cut out. And put that down. And put this one right next to it. Just press it down lightly and it seems to stick real well without any fuss. Okay, let's see if we got room without getting all that messed up clay at the bottom. Okay. There we go. So now I just take this. I'll move it so y'all guys you guys can see better. And press it back down so that it's flat to the clay. Okay. And then we're gonna cut it out. Now, we're going to bring this over and um, get our tool here. We're going to do a little bit of touch up work. What I want to do first before I put them up there is I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of try and shape it a little. So I'm just coming in with my knife and chopping it up a little bit to make it, I guess it would be like a representative of fur in a paw, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I'm doing it down here. Let me move up a little bit and move this out of the way. Okay, so what I'm doing with the upper up close look is just feathering the edge, going over it like like so. Like this. Alright. Just go, 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 go. Like this, go around. And don't let it come up because that could mess up your feathering. And kind of come at it straight up and down, not not in an angle because um, then it'll just look funny. I'm just going around, and I'm cutting into the clay. There you go. That's a way to describe it. <laughs> I I don't. I don't know how to describe. See, if I cut it at an angle, it just looks funny. So I'm going to go up and down. Straight. I'm going back here because that kind of gave me too much. Alright, and there we go. That's how we get the fur effect on our paw. So we're going to lift this. Like so. Ooh, it's stuck a little bit. It's fine. And we're going to place it up here. A little further up. Whoops, careful. Be careful not to smash it.
All right, how does that look? I know it doesn't look exactly like the picture, but if it did look exactly like the picture, I think it would be copywritten, right? <laughs> so we're going to do that. And then my next thing I want to do, what should I do as a background? Should I, I think I should blend these together and make like a flat thing and then put, um, yeah, I think that would be great. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put these separately through the pasta machine and then we're going to blend them together. I think we're going to need a little bit more purple here. So let's widen that out so you can see. I'm going to add a little more purple. All right, I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, so there's my h and M. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to bake it. You know what, I just had a thought. All right, guys, she's all done baking. And I think it looks really, really cool. But yeah, there it goes. I'm gonna get him to sign the back. The back's kind of ugly, but that's, the, that's not the part that matters. <laughs> the part that matters is the front, and it looks really awesome. Super stoked. I hope she likes it. He will be giving it to her tomorrow morning. So yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I hope you like this video, and if you want to see more by me, then subscribe, like, comment below what you did for your teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!